Hey everyone, Garbage here. There are a lot of different ways to simulate recoil in first person shooters. Everything from the infamous CSGO spray patterns to more realistic physics based systems that have been used in games over the years. And in this video, I want to talk about a few of them, explain how they work, and give my opinion of them as well. The first type of recoil system on the list is random spread. It works by specifying in the code a maximum and minimum amount a bullet can deviate from the center of the crosshair, and then a random number generator picks a value from that range every time you shoot. Fortnite is the most famous game to use this method. The one big advantage of this system is its simplicity. Adjusting a weapon's accuracy and effective range is simply a matter of changing one or two numbers in the code. The biggest downside is that it removes a lot of the skill required to use the weapon properly. As it doesn't matter how good you are at placing crosshairs on the enemy's heads, the inherent randomness of the weapon means you are never guaranteed that headshot. For this reason, it is my least favorite type of recoil system. Taking it one step further, you have spray patterns. CSGO and Valorant both use this method, where bullets deviate from the crosshair in a more predictable way than purely random, creating a distinctive spray pattern if you look at the bullet holes left behind. If you're interested in how this works, I have a video where I explain the technical side in greater detail, links down below. CSGO spray patterns are very tight and consistent and can be learned with a bit of practice. Valorants, however, are much more RNG based and cannot be predicted beyond the first two or three shots, resulting in very loose feeling gunplay. It's no surprise that I prefer CSGO spray patterns over Valorants. Moving away from that, we have recoil that is based on camera movement rather than on deviance from the crosshair. In games that use this method, bullets generally hit where the crosshair is pointed, and the recoil is simulated instead by moving and shaking the camera while shooting, making it harder to keep the crosshair trained on a single spot. Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Battlefield, and more all use this method. The camera movement can be handled in two different ways. It can either be random, like in Call of Duty, or it can follow a fixed pattern, like with Apex Legends. Both are pretty decent in my opinion, but surprisingly I think I like the random recoil a little bit more, but that's just me. One interesting type of recoil system that's being used more often recently is what I like to call physics-based recoil. Games that use this have bullets that shoot in the direction the barrel of the gun is pointed rather than a crosshair, which means that accuracy is affected as the weapon is fired because the physical recoil of the weapon will affect where the barrel is pointed. Games like Escape from Tarkov, Rising Storm 2, VR first person shooters all use this method of recoil. I don't have enough experience with this type to say whether I like it very much or not, but I appreciate the tactical element it introduces to gameplay since you have to think about where the barrel is pointed, even though I think it is a bit difficult for newcomers to get used to. One thing I didn't mention is that all of these methods can also be combined together to create hybrids. For example, many games have random spread recoil when hip firing and camera movement recoil when aiming down sights, and that's just one example. Every game does things slightly differently, and it's part of the reason why gunplay varies so much from game to game. Let me know in the comments what your favorite type of recoil system is, like, subscribe, and bell, links to my Twitter and everything else down below, and as always, have a nice day.